Might be pretty moving around from the angle too. Let's do it, right? My name is Brandon Flowers. I make music and sing songs. I have always loved music and it was a part of my life. Just like every other teenager, I cranked up the cassettes in the car and I sang along, but I had never thought I'm gonna be on the other side. There's a still in the street outside your window. We've been so lucky with the success we've had, you know, so many people come to see us play and it's become kind of a celebration. By the end of the show they seem to be, you know, everybody seems to be a foot off the ground. One of the cliches when you're growing up, you get it kind of pounded into your head about how you need to have a job that you love. And, and for the most part, it's a really difficult thing for people to you know, find a career that, that, that they really love. And it's a dream come true for me to have my job be, be this. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible. There are a lot of connotations that come along with uh, popular music or rock music, and it's usually, you know, very sex-driven or money-driven. And I realized early on that that wasn't uh, the road for me, and that maybe because of the foundations that were laid in my life by my, you know, mom taking me to church, um, that I wanted to take a different road, I guess. Let's go down in the city, getting real low. In my room, I'm unnoticed. It's definitely not normal in this business at my age to have a wife and children. And, but I guess for me, it all ties back to my roots and the example set from, from my parents. You know, I think they were married for 44 years, and there was always a happiness in my home, and that's what I want. On the floor. I think by the time I had a child, I had uh, 17 or 18 nieces and nephews. So I was very accustomed to having kids around. And I, I, I knew the drill and what, you know, <laughs> I saw what happened. And uh, it was like there's a chamber in your heart that you don't know exists that opens up when you have a baby. You know, it's just been such a great experience. I'm overflowing with that love that I didn't know was there before. It's hard booking booking tours. I, I get in arguments every now and then with my with our booking agent. You know, if we if he puts us out on the road too long, you know, come home and Ammon's gonna, hey dad, <laughs> you know, I don't, don't want to miss out on things. A lot of it is based around starting a family and realizing that that's what is important to me. In a lot of ways, I guess it's kind of surpassed, you know, the music now for me. I've definitely, even as I've gotten older, been more cautious about lyrics, but I feel like I want to be a positive force in the world and I want to uplift people. A lot of people love to come up to me and tell me they were raised in the church. And they expect there to be this, this camaraderie about, oh, we, we've outgrown it now and we're smart enough now to not be in it. And it started, it started happening so often that it really made me take a look at, you know, at, at myself. And I realized I was raised in it, and I still, it's, it's, <laughs> there's still a fire burning in there. My name is Brandon Flowers. I'm a father, I'm a husband, and I'm a Mormon. <laughs>